Hey guys, so guys today I'm going to share a quick and easy casserole that you can throw together. If you have a couple of boxes of Jiffy, if you have some leftover chicken, a bag of frozen vegetables, throw this together you guys, you're gonna love it. It's so flavorful, but this recipe right here is up there for me. It has so much flavor and it's so easy to throw together. You're gonna love it. So to start off, you're gonna go ahead and melt some butter down in a pot and then you're gonna add in some diced onion and we're gonna let this onion cook until it starts to get nice and soft. And once it's nice and soft, you're gonna add in some minced garlic. We're gonna let it continue to cook for a few seconds just until that garlic starts to warm up. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw in a bag of frozen vegetables. Now it can be whatever frozen vegetables you like. This bag had lima beans in it and I didn't even realize that so I had to pick those out. <laughs> but um, whatever type of vegetable, frozen vegetables you like. Just gonna let them warm up and warm through. You're not trying to cook them or anything. Just let them warm through a bit. And then we're gonna add in some all-purpose flour. This flour is gonna help thicken the base of our casserole. So you wanna let it cook for a couple of minutes just to get that raw flour taste out. So next we're gonna add in one can of cream of chicken soup that's been mixed with one can of water already. I'm just adding a little bit in at first to mix in that flour because you don't want a bunch of lumps of flour in your casserole. So you wanna to try to blend that flour in as well as you can. So go ahead and add just a little bit, mix it and then add the rest and completely mix that flour in because you don't want a bunch of lumps in your casserole. Next, we're gonna add in some milk. This is gonna make it nice and creamy. You guys, what this reminds me of is it's just like a pot pie, but instead of the flaky pie crust, it's a thick, moist cornbread crust. I don't like pot pie. I don't like vegetables, but I love this recipe, you guys. Next, we're gonna add in some seasonings and herbs. I'm adding in some dry oregano dry basil, a little bit of black pepper, some onion powder, garlic powder, some fresh chopped parsley, and then I'm gonna throw in some Lari seasoning, and a little bit of powdered chicken bouillon, and then you wanna salt to taste. We're gonna blend all this together. The smell is amazing. So the last thing that we're gonna do to this is we're gonna add in a couple of cups of chopped chicken, cooked chopped chicken. Now you can use chicken breast, chicken thighs, chicken drum. You can break down a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, leftover chicken, any type of cooked chicken, just as long as it's cooked already, um, you'll be fine. You don't really wanna add raw chicken to this. So just a couple of cups of cooked chicken. Now we're gonna sit that aside and work on our topping. I'm using two boxes of Jiffy, but if you want a thinner cornbread crust, you can use one, but I want it thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of boxes to my bowl, and then I'm gonna throw in a can of creamed corn, a couple of large eggs, and some milk. And then I'm gonna mix this together until it's combined, and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my filling to my baking dish. You want a nine by nine baking dish. And then I'm gonna spread it out and get it nice and even. Next, I'm gonna to top it with that cornbread mix. And I'm gonna spread that out and get it fully covered. And 
And then I'm going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees to cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Once it's done, you want to let it sit to set for about 10 minutes. Let it cool for about 10 minutes. You guys, this is so good. It tastes like Thanksgiving dressing with all those herbs and seasonings, the cornbread, that cream of chicken. It tastes just like cornbread dressing for Thanksgiving. I promise you, if you have all these ingredients, it's quick, it's easy, and so delicious, you guys. Definitely something worth sharing. Yum.